leaves from the vine falling so slow my little soldier boy keep marching home <laughs> now that i brought us all down we're gonna bring us back up because we're gonna be talking about uncle iroh's dream an avatar the last airbender game yeah not the blue people the airbender people yeah. Not not the avatars that's going to be coming out next month. Spoilers for when we're recording this. <laughs> yes. But uh, I will meet you over at the gaming center, and I will be going over the mechanics of this game, and then we will meet you afterwards to talk about our thoughts on it. Avatar The Last Airbender, Uncle Iroh's Dream, is a fairly simple game that has a, a ton of play variants. You can see there's a lot of cards here. The In My Opinion animal items, as well as the pads, the pencils, all of that stuff is going to be used in some of the variants. But today we're going to be primarily talking about the base game. In the base game of Uncle Iroh's Dream, what you're going to do is you're going to draw two of each type of card in these three different types. So locations, events, and characters. You're going to have those in your hand and you're going to try and tell the best story. You're allowed to use as many cards as you want and you're going to put them together in whatever order you want. So Southern Water Tribe Children plays Airball at the Ember Island Theater. So here is your story and the avatar, who is your judge in this case, is going to close their eyes. Both players will make their stories, place them face down. And then the judge, just like in a Cards Against Humanity or an Apples to Apples, will play out the cards, read off the story, and say which one they deem to be best. They can use any criteria they want for deciding which one is the best. The variants in this game that you can use when you're playing are things like King Boomy's variant, which allows the players to vote for which story they think is the best. You have the In My Opinion variant, which has prompts that you're going to try and use for judging or try making your stories. You have a version where you're gonna be timed and you use more cards, including the animals and the items. You have one where you have two judges, which is the Uncle Iroh and Prince Zuko variant. So there's a lot of different ways to play the game they all basically go off of the same principle. They even have this pad and a series of pencils here where you can write your own stories here that you can use to judge. Now that you know the basics on how to play the game, I'm going to meet you back up top and I'll give you my final thoughts. So now that you know how to play the game, we're going to give our thoughts on the game. Uncle Iroh's Dream. It's a storytelling game, right? <clears throat> no, but it is advertised as one and that really bothers me. When I bought this game, I assumed it would be like a reskin version of Once Upon a Time. It's not. Uh, we've mainly played one version of the game. Please don't stick that microphone <laughs> like down my throat. What's happening? Um, and it, it's just not a storytelling game. And I say that because when I think of a story, I think of, you know, paragraphs coming together and forming a story. But in this one, you're basically constructing a sentence. And I'm sorry, a sentence is not a story. By grammar definitions. Yeah. So can it be fun sometimes when you, you, you know, you have a character that comes up that you really like and you start making jokes? Yeah. But is it what's advertised? No. Is it particularly fun? No. Is it good for kids? I guess if they're learning how to read, I don't know, but I can, I can see it. I can see it being fun for, for littler kids that like the show and watched it in like the typical age range though. This says it's three to 10. So they're marketing to three year olds. Oh no, three to 10 players. Ages seven plus. So like I could see a seven, eight or nine year old having fun with this. I mean, me, you and Lakota played it and we had fun and, but that all came from like Lakota doing funny voices and joking about the boulder and like doing all these things. Like we made our own fun. It wasn't really the game that was fun. Yeah. And that's really what bothers me. I do like that. The rule book is very sparse. It's not something where you're like, Oh my God. Rules. Ah. And um, it's table friendly, budget friendly, family friendly, like all those general friendly things 
good card quality, like all the basic things of like a good game, but like the gameplay itself is problematic. Although there are multiple modes, there's some that are better than others. Like there are improvements, but not enough to warrant me like really pulling this game off the shelf and playing it again and again. Yeah, honestly, I don't think I'd play it again. Um, I mean, maybe bust it out as a, on a lark one point, but if, if you have young kids that have just watched Avatar or are really big fans of Avatar, pull it out and they'll have fun with it. Get it, get them this for like Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever, and they'll they'll have fun with it. I don't see it holding people's attention, even kids' attention for that many playthroughs, but they'll get a kick out of it. And it's not an expensive game. No. And uh, maybe the boulder will make an appearance. I can't do the boulder voice. I'm a girl, but, you know, whatevs. The boulder is conflicted. He, he, the Lakota still does the best one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So if you like these kind of game review videos, please let us know by liking the video. Actually, make your likes into likes. Comment down below. Have you played any of the Avatar of the Last Airbender games? There's a few of them out there. Have you played this game specifically? Who's your favorite av Avatar character? I like Uncle Iroh, and that's why I like this game, because the Uncle Iroh's on it. That's the best selling point of the game, is that Uncle Iroh's on it. I am conflicted, for you are misleading the people. You're like, this game isn't that interesting, but I like it, because Uncle Iroh and the name. I said some positive things about this game. I said if you have little kids that like Avatar, get this game for them. I recommended it. And I did not. Yes, you did not. Well, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this going forward. And ring that bell so you know what's up. Yes. And like the boulder, we are conflicted. But now we will say farewell. Bye, guys. Bye.